Let's talk about anti-cheats. More specifically, the ones that run at the kernel level on your Windows PC and pretty much have full access to your entire system. Normally, the kernel is mainly prioritized for crucial drivers like graphics drivers, wireless drivers, chipset drivers, and more. These drivers are essential for making your computer work properly because they drive or manage the interactions between the OS and hardware or software components. The drivers run at the kernel level, also known as Ring Zero, which grants them full control over your system. In contrast, normal applications operate in user space, also known as Ring 3, where they are more isolated and are more restricted in terms of access to system resources or other software. Rings 1 and 2 would normally be reserved for less privileged drivers and I.O. operations, but those levels don't exist in modern operating systems. However, some drivers running at the kernel level can open up exploits, as seen with some games like Genshin Impact and even Street Fighter V at one point. If something running in the kernel crashes, your whole operating system crashes with it, as seen with CrowdStrike last year. Such a crash wouldn't happen on Mac since CrowdStrike no longer runs in the Mac OS kernel. But one thing not many people talk about is why kernel level anti-cheats are pretty much only found on Windows. For Macs, there's a strict system of approval for kernel extensions, also known as KEX. The KEX system was mainly used for important stuff, such as virtualization software like Parallels or VMware, file sync services like Google Drive and Box, antivirus applications like Bitdefender and Symantec, and much more. This system meant that a kernel driver had to be approved by Apple, before it could be approved by the user, before it could be run on your system. But since the release of macOS Catalina, Apple has been moving away from them in favor of less intrusive alternatives that don't give apps direct kernel access. Linux users have a much easier access to their kernel and whole OS in general, so something like a kernel anti-cheat on Linux would probably be easily bypassed by the user anyways. On Android and iOS, Apps run in a more sandbox Ring 3 user space environment and have to use APIs as intermediaries to interact with the needed kernel drivers and operations for stuff like file management, camera, GPS, gyroscope, USB, and more. So why does this problem uniquely affect Windows? It all started from a settlement by the European Commission in 2009 which involved Microsoft and its potential monopoly in the software market on Windows. This settlement obliges Microsoft to allow third-party developers to have the same level of access to Windows as its own products, like Windows Defender, which ran at kernel level. This ruling doesn't affect other companies like Apple or Google. So do you think it was the right decision? Do you think that anti-cheats should be able to run with such deep access to your system and have more control over your own system than you?